Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 4 for for ticket firewall training series. In this video, I'll be talking about firewall fundamentals and I'll be covering how does a firewall works. Okay? And I'll be also talking about how the next generation firewall is working nowadays. There's a lot of confusions that are around about packet inspection and deep packet inspection, so I'll be covering in very detailed manner as well as what is the explanation of the flow so basically whenever a traffic initiates from a user goes to internet via firewall so how the flow will be i'll be talking about in very detailed manner so that whenever somebody asks you you will be able to explain them in a very clear and detailed manner so I'll request you to please watch this video till then so that you can understand these topics and you can use it in your real time environment for troubleshooting purpose as well as for interview because most of the time this flow will be asking why in interviews and so also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, first of all, we'll try and understand how a firewall works. Okay, so I'll create a diagram first and then we'll try and understand with the help of that particular diagram. Okay, so let's say this is our firewall. Okay, and we have a PC over here, which is inside. So this is inside our company and this firewall is connected to internet right so that i can go on internet and i can use google.com so why we need to use google.com maybe i have another site on other other country and i want to access over the internet as well through vpn okay so uh, just don't confuse with the vpn right now just understand that i need to access an internet so that i'll have a access to public internet right now on public internet it's as the name suggests is a public internet anyone can use it so if anyone can use it in sense a good guy as well as the bad guy they are also using it right so what exactly happening if the good guy is there then it's fine if there is a bad guy then it can steal your data and it they use in a very wrong way so what we can do in this so we can either permit or deny traffic so permitting the traffic or denying the traffic based on the information what we provide so what information what we are providing we are providing based on IP addresses, right? So what IP addresses? It is source IP and destination IP, right? So what we are feeding those information to the firewall and firewall is permitting or denying the traffic, right? There are a lot of uh, more interesting uh, facts or I can say there are more more interesting information that is coming now so stay tuned so now friends we'll understand what is next generation firewall how it is working nowadays okay so as I was telling that uh, we need to feed information about IP addresses then only it will permit the traffic or deny the traffic but in case of next gen firewall we have to feed those information that is required like uh, from inside to outside or from outside to inside what are the traffic that is allowed now it is intelligent right now okay so it will tell you if some attack is happening okay so let's suppose if from outside if some attacker is attacking it so he is sending some malicious traffic okay and he wants to install uh, some some malware into this machine he can understand next gen firewall can understand this is what is happening but before 
these firewalls that original the legacy firewalls will not be able to recognize whether somebody's if you are allowing some ip address so let's say you are allowing a public ip address okay so in that case that will be allowed if he is sending you some malware if he is sending you uh, some uh, malicious traffic in that case it will be allowed but in case of next gen firewall it will analyze what kind of traffic it is then it process the traffic so friends now will understand that how exactly in very detailed manner how this firewall works and how this next gen firewall works okay so friends to understand how firewall was working before we need to understand what is packet inspection okay so i'll just draw a diagram with very detailed explanation how it is working so let me just draw this diagram as soon as possible okay so let's say this is a firewall okay and we have a pc which is inside okay and it's connected to this one and this firewall is connected to internet so there is nothing in between like there is no device i have uh, draw it because it will create confusion so i have made it very simple so 192 168 10.0 slash 24 and we have got 200.1.1.0 slash 24 okay now let's suppose this pc wants to go on internet okay the ip address for this pc is dot one so 192 168 10.1 okay so i'll just rub this out so that uh, it will be a little clearer for you guys so dot one okay and the ip address of this interface is dot one zero that is 10 okay for this we have got mm, dot one okay now what happens is when dot one initiates traffic and he wants to go on google or facebook.com say so let's say facebook.com okay so in this what happens is first of all there is a dns traffic that gets generated from this machine okay whatever dns that you have configured so maybe if you are using public dns 8.8.8 or maybe if you are using some internal so basically for corporates there will be a internal dns that needs to be configured so the traffic will go to basically to dns server or after that the traffic basically goes to firewall because as we are going to facebook.com it's a public so we will find the dns entry into public dns so the traffic will go on to the internet right so while going on internet as you know the dns is a udp traffic okay so if you open udp traffic you will see few information so there will be source port number okay there will be destination port number and then if you open layer 3 traffic there will be source ip address okay source ip and destination ip right now these four information the firewall will take and he will keep in his memory okay so the source ip is 192 168 10.1 right the destination ip is let's say 8.8.8.8 .8 okay the source port so source port will always be random port so anything uh, maybe 2015 okay and destination port will be 53 why 53 because this is a dns traffic so this information will be keep kept by this firewall okay and the traffic will go on internet 
and while coming he will check whether that is the uh, that is the traffic which is getting written why because the traffic reaches over here and the source port and the destination port will never never get changed right so in this way he can verify whether that particular traffic is coming or not in that case like how it will verify is from internet once it comes the source ip will be 8.8.8.8 destination ip will be 192.168.10.1 source port will be 53 destination port will be 2015 so for now you understand this is a public ip address for this uh, explanation you just understand this is a public ip address okay so this is how the traffic hits to the firewall he checks whether this session is already there or not if it is there it allows the traffic okay so this is how the packet inspection works in here but yeah, if somebody is initiating a new connection to this firewall to access this PC, okay, if somebody is coming from internet, the firewall will deny the traffic by default, right? We need to allow the traffic in the access list or the policy so that he can permit that traffic. If that traffic needs to be allowed, inside the network we need to configure the policy right so from outside it is secure but what happens in the session so let's say if i am sending a traffic towards public dns in that case if this dns has sent a malicious traffic to me in that case this firewall will not be able to understand because he is just checking the session and allowing the session and also while returning he will just check the session whether the session exists or not he way and he allows the traffic so this is how it says packet inspection so packet means if you know OSI model, the network PDU known as packet, right? So here the packet inspection is happening. So now friends, we'll try and understand what is deep packet inspection. Nowadays, and this next gen firewall is doing a proper deep packet inspection. Okay, so basically what happens? I'll uh, draw a diagram and with the help of that, I'll try to explain you. Uh, sorry for my di diagram because uh, this is not well. Okay, yeah. So let's say this is a PC and we are connected to firewall and this firewall is connected to internet. Okay. So I'll just give you a very simple exam uh, example. So let's say this PC one wants to connect to let's say one of the server. Okay. Now this PC initiates the traffic. Okay. As the next gen firewall will also have packet inspection as well. So it records all the information what is there in L3 and L4. So what information? The source IP destination IP source port destination port if if it is a tcp traffic in that case the sync flags the the tcp flags okay now this information went and it went to the server on internet while coming back he checks whether it, it is matching to this uh, information or not if it is matching it allows and the traffic went back to the pc1 now let's say this server is a malicious server in that case what exactly happens now you understand if there is an attack there should be a pattern of attack so what exactly a pattern so let's say 
this server wants to attack this PC. So he needs to gather some information about it. I'm just giving you a idea how an attack can be. It cannot be 100% right in the real time environment, but to understand the concept, how it works, I'm just uh, giving you an example. Okay. So this server is maybe this malicious server is sending you some information. Okay. So what next gen firewall does is he will gather some packets. Okay. Some packet in sense he, uh, as per the policy what is defined in the next gen firewall he will gather some packet information that what exactly the server is sending to the pc he will gather information and he will check the pattern of the attack if that pattern matches a attack he will deny the connection or whatever action that you have defined in the firewall it does that okay so what i am trying to say is let's suppose this server is sending some malicious traffic so what's malicious traffic so server is sending with the dns request he's trying to find what os the pc one is using okay what is the version he is using okay and after that, he wants to know whether the firewall is enabled on this PC or not. What are the ports that is open on this PC? Okay. After gathering this information, he will look for some vulnerability for that specific OS version and the port number. And then he will try to do the attack. So that is also a pattern to find a vulnerability, right? So this is how this next gen firewall understands that somebody is penetrating or try to get some information to penetrate some attack, right? So in that case, the next gen firewall is intelligent enough to maybe it can, it can correlate with some attack and he can deny that particular traffic as per your policy what you have defined so i'll show you in fortinet as that is our next gen firewall how it works and where the signatures or where the patterns are i'll show you in the practical when we do that okay so this is what i wanted to cover in this video or if you have learned something new today please do comment and also please like the video also, I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.